Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to another Spade Shades video. Uh, I'm JT, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the Larry Jennings false cut today. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to be using my uh, blue artifice deck for this. Uh, this is a very nice deck. Um, if you like white border decks, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more partial to borderless or black border decks. But um, white border decks are classic and they are great. Um, I do like them. So if you like white border decks, and uh, if you want to look up a better photo, I don't know. I don't know how good the quality on this is going to be right here. But um, it's a very highly, highly detailed um, card back. So uh, if you want to, um, if you want to look those up, just look them up at um, illusionist.com. I'll leave a link to them right here. Um, it's a very nice deck of cards. I highly recommend you getting some of these if you don't have any already. So let's get into the Larry Jennings false cut. Uh, it looks a little bit something like this. We've got a king of diamonds on top. And there's the cut. And the king of diamonds is still on top. Okay. And once again. Okay. And one last time. This is actually a full deck false cut, I believe. Okay. And one final time before I explain it. And the King of Diamonds is on top. Okay. So this cut is. Well, sorry, I had some lint on there. Um, this cut is very simple. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just need to practice prying off. A portion of the deck from the bottom. Okay, it, it can it can be kind of tricky if you're not used to it. So um, you need to get used to having to doing that. Okay, and you can't really see it from that angle. So I'm gonna try to reverse it a little bit. You need to get used to prying off some. Okay, uh, you need to be able to do that and do it quickly. Okay, that number right there. Okay. So that's showing you what it looks like from the back, kind of. That's what it will look, look like from your perspective. So you pry off a portion and place it on top, okay? And then you're going to use your left thumb and your left middle finger to snatch out a packet from the center, okay? Just like that, okay? To snatch out a packet from the center. And then you're gonna drop the bottom packet and drop the packet on top. Come with this hand, pick up this packet, and collect and collect. And your king of diamonds is still on top, okay? So once again I'll go through it. Pry off a packet off the bottom, a smaller packet, place on top, pull out a packet from the center, drop, drop. Collect, collect. King of Diamonds on top. So at speed, it looks something like that. Okay. I promise, if if your uh, if your broken cuts don't throw people for a loop, or if your helix cuts don't throw any one for a loop, well, if you can do a helix cut and not drop the cards. Um, if those don't fall, uh, throw anyone for a loop, I promise the Larry Jennings will, okay? Because it looks that legit. I was just a card in the center, but um, yeah. Thanks for watching.